having survived Floyd, I knew what was going to happen. The rain was just, you can see it coming sideways. Once the rain stopped, uh, fair or not, the dams up around Raleigh, you know, they don't want to burst, so they'll start releasing water into the noose, and it ends up down this end. Tuesday, we started really seeing how bad it was. Roads had started to collapse, trees had fallen, power lines were out pretty much all over the county. And after talking to some of the people, it got to be really depressing, you know, because people I know and people I work with were losing their homes. You know, rain is rain. But when you start getting out the next day and see the, the houses that were damaged and the, the trees that had fallen, every day I would come to the plant and I didn't know if I was going to have anybody there to clean the plant. All I was looking for was a way to transport my people back and forth to work. One of our main roads to the plant is still closed. Two or three days out of work, you know, can hurt a lot of people when you live from paycheck to paycheck. It's strange about acts of nature. They seem to always affect the people that can least afford it. And that's when I contacted Mr. Bullock. And you know, I kind of threw out some ideas that uh, I think would have helped the team out, our people out. And from there, this, uh, this whole thing kind of took a life of its own after that. Richard Whiting's saw the need for his people and reached out and asked if he could have some assistance in getting people to work because there were people who weren't able to get to work but wanted to. And I had that aha moment of, oh my gosh, where's my head been? I've been thinking about how do we get manufacturing going back? I've been thinking about all these other things, but never really took a minute to sit back and say, gosh, how can we help the people that help us every day? That led to us asking the question, what else can we do? So many of us take for granted the fact that we don't have to make a choice between buying groceries or buying cleaning supplies or buying paper towels. So we decided to come over, see if we can help restock the kitchens, re help them in, in a very small way, but hopefully an effective way of helping them get back on their feet. We're here to represent what we say we are, which is a family. And this family's coming together to make things happen for those people who support us every day and have needs. They, they need help the most. So hopefully we'll be able to provide that help and assistance and the, they'll, they'll appreciate it. You don't want to cut people short that they really need this assistance. Or if nothing else, give them that little confidence that somebody cares. This, this is a result of so many other people doing the right things. The people who make up this company are the people who make the things happen. They believe in it, and they believe in it because they believe in doing the right things for the right reasons.